So the first thing Penny and I do to get started is we prep her glucose meter. This is super important because the glucose meter has a two minute window that you get to take blood in. So if you don't prep it before and have it waiting for you, you're gonna be racing the clock trying to get blood from your pup. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that the number on the bottle, which in our case is 35, matches up to the number on your meter. So stick in that test strip and make sure they match up. If they don't match up and you need to change the number, refer to your manual or look for our next video on how to calibrate your glucose meter. It's a lot more fun when you do it with us, I promise. So once you make sure your number's set, you should see a little blood drop and test strip dancing around on the screen. That means you have about two minutes to take blood. So what me and Penny do is we take the test strip out and we put it back in partially, not all the way. Notice how the test strip is hanging out a little bit, it's ready to go, and the meter is off. This saves our two minutes for after we see her blood drop. So to us, prepping the Lancet is the most important part of this whole thing because we love this glucose monitor kit, but we do not like this Lancet. It has given us a lot of problems. And most of the other owners that we've talked to have the same problems with it not drawing enough blood, sometimes not any blood at all. So what me and Penny figured out was this little secret, and it goes like this. You see that strip, that solid strip of plastic? That solid strip should line up with the button, and if you stick it into your meter and pull back the trigger, it should be in there pretty securely. Now Penny's secret is slightly pulling the lancet back out and adjusting it to her ear thickness. See how we push it in and slightly pull it back out. This trick allows us to get enough blood on the first try. We carefully take the top off the pricker without touching it because we don't want to contaminate the sample. Then we put the clear protector piece over it. Here's the part that's hard for me because I can see her start to get nervous. I can see her little paw start to shake even though she's still hanging out and investigating what's going on. I've also noticed dogs are usually aware of the noises of things that they're scared of, like the noise of clicking the trigger back and when it clicks in her ear. Sometimes the blood doesn't show up right away, and it takes about 15 to 20 seconds. When you think you have enough for a sample, push your test strip into your prepared meter all the way, make sure the number is the right number again, and then you have about two minutes to collect the blood. Look for the little prongs on the side of your test strip. That's what you wanna to touch the blood to. The more accuracy you have, the less blood you're actually going to have to use to get your result. This noise is actually a good thing because Penny knows she gets a treat afterwards. The single beep is a positive noise for me as well. That means the test is done and it's accepted her blood sample. We hope you enjoyed this video and we love to hear about how you do your at-home glucose testing. See you next time!